Welcome to the second lesson. We're going to import some audio. We're going to make a few selections. And that's about it for the first lesson. But first, a few things that are nice to know. A way of navigating your playhead, which is over here, is by clicking anywhere in the workspace. So if I click over here, the playhead will move to this point. If I click over here, the playhead will move. If I press spacebar, the playhead will play. The cursor right now is an eye beam. This will change in a minute, but for now it's an eye beam. And when it's an eye beam, I can also hold down my mouse and drag like so. This is dragging a selection, an in marker and an out marker. Try this, move your playhead and drag a selection. When we have a selection like this and we want to get rid of it, we just press escape. That is one way, and definitely the easiest way of doing it. If we double click anywhere outside the selection, the selection will go away. As you can see, we have a ghosted green line and a red line. This is our in and out markers, but they are no longer markers because we just deleted them. But they are ghosted, so we can actually always go back to them if we need the same ones again. If you want to go to the in marker, just press one, go to the out marker, press two. Setting the in marker, if we don't want to use the drag a selection, we can do by pressing I or command one on an Apple or control one. Over here, press O for out. Again, that is command two or control two on Windows. And we have set a selection. Let's just move the playhead so we can see it. And if I press one, I will jump to the in marker. If I press two, I'll jump to the out marker. So you can choose, do you want to use I and O for in and out? It's easier to remember or use command one and command two for in and out on Apple or Control one and control two on a Windows machine. But now you know how to do a selection. Now let's get on with the show. We want to import some audio. So go to import and you get your dialogue where you can import audio. Choose any audio file. If you do not know this already, uh, Hindenburg will automatically set the levels as soon as you import it. We can just demonstrate that. I'm going to take some different pieces of music. There's a piece of classical music. A piece of, I admit, very old pop music. The way that we set levels are by dragging this top line here. So the levels on these three pieces of music are very different. And that's because they are more or less compressed. The classical music is not compressed at all, but the pop music is compressed. And compressed music sounds louder than non-compressed music. Since we want to have a balanced mix, we want everything to be perceived as equally loud. So we don't want something to be louder than something else. So when we set the levels, we set it so everything is perceived as equally loud. Let's demonstrate. So as we can hear, the levels are balanced already. This will make it so much easier later on when you're doing your radio piece or your podcast. We don't need this for now, so I'm just going to select everything. There are a number of ways of doing this. The one I just used is the marquee tool. Hold shift and drag 
and my key selection over the files and just press clear or delete on your keyboard. Now we have imported some audio. This here is called a region. Currently it's blue. That means it's not active, which again means I'm not doing anything to it. If I press it, like so, it becomes active, it becomes orange. If I press escape, the selection goes away, just as it did when we did it with dragging a selection from before. As you can see right now, our cursor is no longer an eye beam. It's now become this arrow. That means that I can select a region. If I went outside the region, it will become an eye beam, go back, and it's a selection tool. So it knows that there's something there that I can select. So I press, it's selected. Press escape, it's not selected. This is fine if I just want to move this region around. But obviously I would want to select something that is not the entire region, so I still need to do my selection. So how do I do that? Well, the way to do it is that if we follow the cursor now as it goes down, further down, down to here, roughly you know, three quarters down, it becomes an eye beam again. So hold your mouse, drag a selection, and there you go. We have now created a selection within the region. With that, we can do all kinds of things. We can delete it, so that piece is no longer there. Let's just undo that. We could cut it. The difference between cut and delete is, as you might have seen already, if I cut, it removes the piece and takes this piece and puts it in its place. If I do clear, or delete, it just lifts this piece of audio. Knowing how these two differ can be very important when you have larger mixes and you don't necessarily want this piece here to move. Now, to move our playhead, we can do as we did before. We can, when we have an eye beam, we can click anywhere and the playhead will move to this point. If I go up, it becomes an arrow, which means if I click, I can't move the playhead. But I am selecting the region. If I go further up, oh, here we go, I find the eye beam again. So at the top, at the bottom, you can move your playhead or drag a selection. Escape removes all selections. Now I've placed my playhead roughly where I want to listen to the audio. But right now I would like to zoom in a little bit. So I can zoom in here. And it will zoom around the playhead. Zoom out. There you go. If I want the tracks to be smaller or larger, I can drag over here. Now I want to play the audio. I could press the play button or just press the space bar on my keyboard. Uh, well, we started way back when we were like 11 year old kids. Okay, I want to make this sound a little bit better. I know I've got some audio here that I don't necessarily need. So I roughly want to cut my tape right here. So if I just want to cut the tape, I mean, divide it into two pieces. Think of an old fashioned tape. You take a scissor to the tape, you cut it. This is what we actually call split. Yes, it would be more obvious if it was cut, but it isn't, it's called split. So now I have two pieces of tape. I can choose, it's already chosen this one for me, but I can also choose this one. And if I have the arrow here, I can hold it down, move it, so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to place my playhead in front of the audio. Press play. 
Uh, well, we started. I could hear there was a little er sound here in the beginning. So I can trim that now. If I go to the end of the region, I get this trim tool. Hold down and I can drag like so. So I'm trimming the audio. Now all the audio is non-destructive, so all the audio from the entire interview is going to be right here. Uh. So now I've trimmed it, so I've only got the breath here. That's fine. Uh, well, we I'm going to zoom in a bit. Uh, well, we start. He starts with an er, uh, which is not the best way to start. So let's try to take the er uh, out. I can, if I want to scrub, I can hold down command or control and windows. And when we have the eye beam here, I can go like this. And now I can set an in mark with I play a bit, uh, scrub again. This is roughly where I want the out mark to be. Press O. I can actually now rehearse this before I actually commit to any editing. Right click, say rehearse clip. Well, we started way. So what happened was it, there was a pre-roll of three seconds, which means that it played three seconds before the clip. And then when it came to the clip, it actually jumped over the er and just played the next bit. So rehearse, very useful. I could also just play this piece here. So I could play selection. I can move the in and out markers just by dragging them here or setting new in and out markers with using I and O. So let's try to play this selection again. Uh, well, we start. Uh, well, we start. I think I just got the er uh, there. So now I could edit this out. So I can cut it and it's automatically move this bit in. Let's just undo that. Because I could also clear it. Press escape to remove all the selections, and I could now manually move it in. When I move something in, it will snap. That means that you feel some resistance when you get to the next region. You can drag it past if you use some force, but it will snap to that point. So if we wanted to listen to this now, we can place our playhead and press play or spacebar on the keyboard. Well, we started way. We can also use another command, which is called pre-roll, which is P for pre-roll. And when you press that, it will jump back a few seconds and play from there. Well, we started way back when we were like. That sounds OK. We could actually go in and make it sound a little bit better if we gave it a little fade. Now, the way to do that is to highlight this region here. This is the breath and we want that to fade in. A way to do that would be to drag this corner here to create a fade. Well, we started. And that sounds much better. We could also create a little crossfade. If you wanted this breath to crossfade with the beginning here. So we can just drag the corner there like so. And we can see that it's made a crossfade. There's an automatic crossfade when you are editing, but sometimes you need a little bit more. 
Well, we started way back when we were like 11-year-old kids. So now we've done our first edits. 